everyone welcome in crochet life and stuff with Deborah happy Valentine's Day by the way because it is today it's time for tea it's always time for tea though you should always make sure and take some time and I did get my February teas in from Sips by Sips by is a subscription box that I pay for not sponsored but y'all if you wanted to hit me up because I'd be happy to do that yes that's my microwave running this is a working house after all I'm not like a studio or whatever I'm at home so something is heating in the nuker wave but not my tea my tea right now is steeping and the timer for that will go off shortly and then we will see about the taste now what's today's tea today's tea is this one dark chocolate peppermint by art of tea uh, medium caffeine so yes i will be caffeinated today uh poo -er, i don't know what that means tea blend bold sweet minty one sachet for eight ounces of water 206 degrees fahrenheit which is just under boiling y'all uh steep three to five minutes it says ingredients organic poo -er tea i don't know what that is organic cacao nibs organic peppermint can we stop saying organic organic pink peppercorn apparently not and natural flavors whatever that means uh let's see what it says on here about it because you do get an information sheet with the teas that were chosen for you here we go a smooth and decadent minty chocolate experience steep dark chocolate peppermint anywhere you travel in its eco-friendly biodegradable tea bag sachet and that beep that you may or may not have heard uh, that was me saying that the time for steeping was just about over and I give it a little extra longer because this is larger than an eight ounce you know mug I don't have any eight ounce mugs because and that's the new wave going off um, because I, why would you have a mug that small if you want something you want something and I, I don't drink espresso at home so I'm not gonna have the little teeny tiny cups and if I did I'd probably have a big mug anyway because reasons okay when I opened the packet of this for my tea bag I have to tell you that it was like oh it smelled delightful it almost smelled like mint chocolate chip cookies or maybe like a mint chocolate chip ice cream yeah yeah that's why i chose it to, to go ahead and open this one on valentine's day speaking of valentine's day if you saw my little haul video from yesterday you'll know that i happened to see this at goodwill and it had to come home with me got a little wash and now it's got my tea all right yes i have a clothespin holding my tea bag on there because i don't want to lose it inside the mug just my little world hack that i love okay taking that off because we're done and let me tell you this tea looks nice and dark it smells delightful and to my friend that's sitting here with me your tea should be done steeping take your tea bag out because <laughs> it's across the room it's not next to me so yeah so this is it's a neat it looks like a nylon bag but I guess it's not because it's biodegradable or whatever and pro tip don't squeeze the tea bag you can let it drain out some so that you're not losing half your tea in the tea bag but if you squeeze it you might bring out some of that bitterness and i'm not just sitting it on the table i have a little plate here with a little spoon because i'm fancy like that okay now i have not sweetened this i always try it without sweetener first and without creamer and i do have my zero sugar french vanilla creamer handy and next to me because that's how i roll Oh, but this smells like just a chocolate, almost a chocolate dessert, but it doesn't smell sweet at all, which is kind of interesting. Okay, I'm going to taste it first. And yes, it's too hot for me to sip. I have a sensitive mouth. All right, if I try to drink something that's that hot, it'll, it'll burn. And I don't want to burn. Yeah, yeah, I blow on it. That is a bitter chocolate but not bitter in a bad way. It's just like when you smell chocolate, you're kind of expecting, oh, sweet chocolate bar, yum. But it's not like a chocolate bar. Mm. It's more pronounced than when you put chocolate in a mole, but it's balanced out by that mintiness. All right, I think it needs a little sweetener because, you know, I'm not sweet enough. I have to add sweetener to my tea. Those of y'all who don't, well, good for you. You are sweet. 
All right. My stevia, one packet. Give it a little stir and another sip. Definitely needs some sweetness to it, I think. Um, and that one packet doesn't make it overly sweet. It just adds a little bit of sweetness to it. And it helps counteract the bitterness of the chocolate and makes it a little bit more pleasant, especially for a morning. When you want the caffeine, be mine. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Now, you knew I was going to add some. Notice, I buy it by the big container because it gets added to tea. It gets added to coffee. And that's really about it. I don't put it in anything. Okay, a little bit of creamer in there. See if I can pour it without making a mess. Here you go. You can have some if you'd like. Sharing the creamer. Because I, I share like that. As long as we don't give it to the cat. He's down there drinking from his water fountain. But he's using his paw. So, okay, me drinking from my spoon is not as weird as him drinking from his paw from his water fountain. Now, is it? Hmm. Ooh, <laughs> that did it, yes. That vanilla creamer does add a little bit of more sweetness, but it also adds a nice vanilla flavor and like a cream flavor to it. That took it to the next level. Would I have drank that tea again without that in it? Sure, it tasted really nice. It's like, yeah, all right, this'll do. But the creamer, mm-hmm. Look at that, and it still does not look just like cream. You can tell that there was some tea in there. Mm. I've never had chocolate tea before. I have a chocolate coffee. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Mm. So what are you doing for Valentine's Day? Do you go out and celebrate? Do you go and do the whole reservations and fancy chocolates and everything? This is about as fancy as I get for Valentine's Day. I love it. Actually, my home office, because um, I, I work from home, you know, we do Zoom calls and stuff. And behind me, it's kind of decorated for Valentine's Day. There's hearts and there's like springtime looking stuff. And it looks really cool right now because I change it with the seasons when I think of it. And I love that part of it. I love the decor. But fighting for reservations and dealing with all the people who once a year think that that's how you show love to somebody. No. No. I'll cook a nice dinner at home. Have some tea in a cute mug. A very cute mug. A buck. It was a buck, y'all. Go to Goodwill. I'm just saying, you never know what you're going to find. Oh, and earrings. Got to show you these. These are technically stitch markers. <laughs> I got these from Rose Likes Crochet. If I remember, I will link her there or down below. She sells stitch markers too, besides doing crochet. She makes stitch markers. And I thought these were super cute. And yeah, they became earrings. Because again, that's how I roll. All right. Happy Valentine's Day. Whether you are celebrating with a loved one, you're celebrating with your kitty, or you're just celebrating with a cup of tea, it's all good. And it's always good to take some time for tea. Thank you for coming by. If you're not subscribed, I invite you to consider doing so. Hit that button if you'd like. And um, also, hit the like button. Leave me a comment. Tell me about your Valentine's Day plans, or not plans, as it were. <laughs> See you very soon. Bye, y'all.